Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to go over how to update a firmware on your 3D printer. I'll be doing it on my end at 3, but this process is pretty much applicable for any board you might have. So let's get to it. The firmware controls pretty much every function of your printer. From controlling the steppers to communicating with the host of the printer, everything is controlled by firmware. Quite simply, it is a computer code designed to ensure specific machine functions. RepRap, Marlin, Clipper and Repetire are some of the most commonly used firmwares. In this video, we are going to upgrade our printer to Marlin's 2.0.x version. Updating firmware is a free and simple way to improve functionality, safety and ease of use of your printer. As far as Ender 3 is concerned, upgrading the firmware will allow you to use thermal runaway protection, step through manual bed leveling, auto bed leveling with Z probes, additional servos, custom LCD screens, input shaping, filament runout sensor and many more functions, few of which we'll see in our upcoming videos. Okay, with this out of the way, let's hop onto my computer screen and continue the setup. We need to download the Marlin firmware from GitHub. Link for the same is in the description box below. Go on and download a zip file. After downloading, extract the zip file into a folder on your computer. Now we'll need printer specific configuration files as our starting point. They used to be in configuration folder of Marlin repository, but now they have moved to another GitHub repository, which means we'll need to download them separately. Go to the second GitHub page, which is the configuration repository. It will be the second link in the description box. Click on download and select download as zip. Once you'll extract the zip file, you'll find the configuration files we were looking for. Navigate to Examples, Creality, Ender 3, V422 folder and copy all the files. Now paste them into Marlin folder located inside the Marlin firmware folder. Make sure you confirm to overwrite all the files. We will be using Visual Studio Code and Platform IO to compile and flash the Marlin firmware. First, let us install Visual Studio Code. This is the version we need. Just select your system and install it on your computer. Open the Visual Studio Code and install the Platform IO IDE extension. We'll need another extension for our process, which is Auto Built Marlin. Go to the search bar and get this extension installed. Now we are ready to compile our Marlin configuration. Open the unzip Marlin firmware folder in Visual Studio Code. Then go to the last extension on the left hand side, which is Auto Build Marlin. Click on Build and it will start compiling the code. It will take few minutes to compile. Once the build is finished without any errors, AutoBuild Marlin will generate a .bin file. We will copy this file on our SD card and we are ready to flash the firmware on our printer. To flash the firmware, just insert the SD card into your printer and turn on the power supply. Your printer will flash the bin file automatically and the screen will show Marlin and its version. That's it. You have upgraded your firmware successfully.